The K77M has been developed for the Su-57 and is set to give it an advantage over its main competitors. With a range of over 190 kilometers it is not the longest range air-to-air -air missile Russia has developed, but it is in many ways the most sophisticated. Its range lies between that of the Chinese PL-15, at 200 to 300 kilometers, and the American AIM-120D at 160 to 180 kilometers, providing a comfortable range advantage over Western fighters. The missile notably also reportedly uses an ESA radar like the Chinese PL-15, but unlike the AIM-120D, which makes it more difficult to jam and provides better lock-on capabilities against stealth aircraft. While longer-ranged Russian missiles have been developed primarily to target large and unmaneuverable targets such as AWACS, aerial tankers, bombers, and transports, the K-77M is optimized to target small and agile targets at extreme ranges. Perhaps the design's most notable feature is its use of a nose-mounted active phased array antenna APA, guidance system, which is key to facilitating its accuracy and denying enemy fighters the ability to evade it. It does so by establishing an effective lock and thereby overcoming the radar's field of view problem. Maneuverable fighters have long been able to exploit missile radar's limited field of view by swinging beyond the narrow scope radar's view when in close proximity to escape. The K-77MS APA system effectively addresses this issue which has long been key drawback of reliance on very long-range air-to-air -air missiles, which may give it the longest no-escape range of any air-to-air -air missile in the world. Russian state media outlet RT explained the APA technology used by the K-77M as follows, an active phased array antenna consists of a large number of cone-shaped cells installed under a transparent to radio waves cap on the nose of the missile. Each cell receives only a part of the signal, but once digitally processed, the information from all cells is summarized into a full picture, enabling the K-77M missile to immediately respond to sharp turns of the target, making interception practically inevitable. Beyond the Su-57, the K-77M could be used to equip lower-end Russian fighters such as the Su-35, Su-30SM2 and Su-27SM3 which all boast relatively modern sensors well suited to guiding such missiles. The missile will be key to partially restoring the missile advantage which Russia enjoyed in the waning years of the Cold War and to preparing the Russian Air Force to face next-generation threats such as the American AIM-260 missile which is currently under development. The K-77M also has the potential to considerably increase foreign interest in Russian fighters, and in the Su-57 in particular, and to be sold to existing operators of high-end Russian fighters such as China at Egypt with the potential to revolutionize their unit's air-to-air -air performances at range compared to the far weaker performance of the older R-77. It remains to be seen how widely the K-77M will be deployed and whether it will be used to equip more widely used aircraft such as the Su-30 due to budgetary constraints, but its appearance near NATO's borders is expected to be cause for serious concern in the West.